Many women come to see us for their breast issues. We really stress the importance of mammograms and breast self-exam. And I think a lot of women come to me because they're very good about doing monthly breast self-exam and they find changes that we wouldn't find. So they may find something and then come to see us with a lump or a bump in the breast that they're worried about. Also, a mammogram may find just some abnormal calcium deposits that look suspicious to the radiologist and they're sent to us. There's a couple of ways these things are managed. If we find a lump, we can either do a open biopsy, if necessary, depending on what the exam is like, or now with all the minimally invasive techniques of our breast radiologists in our center, we're able to send them for a simple needle-guided, mammatome-guided biopsy that the radiologist would take care of. Depending on what the biopsy results are, that's when we go to the next step. Uh, obviously, we hope nothing is cancer, but if it is, uh, then we have a discussion to be made. Uh, back in the day, we would do the radical mastectomies, which were very deforming and very unfortunate how breast care was in the 60s, 70s, even in the 80s. Uh, now, most breast surgery is minimally invasive, so a lot of small cancers can be treated simply with a lumpectomy, which is not deforming at all. It's almost hard to tell they even had surgery and that's all they need for small cancers and that's often what's found with radiology. They find cancers that are six millimeters, eight millimeters that are easily treated with a 30 to 45 minute surgery. For patients that have a little bit more advanced cancers, mastectomy is still necessary, but the beauty of plastic surgery care now is we're able to do our procedure, which is the mastectomy, in a very minimally invasive way. Uh, we can remove the entire breast through the areola now, which leaves plenty of skin behind for the plastic surgeon to work with. The incision we make is basically just a circle. And once we can get the cancer out, they have tissue to work with where the options for reconstruction are so many whether it is just a simple saline or silicone implant or there are free flaps that can be done or tram flaps that can be done so there's not just one reconstruction option for women women have so many options on how they want their reconstruction done to get the right cosmetic result that they deserve